In the world of digital currency, Bitcoin stands as the pioneer. Born out of the 2008 financial crisis, Bitcoin has grown to become the largest and most recognized cryptocurrency. It's a digital form of money that operates independently of traditional banking systems powered by a decentralized network of computers or nodes around the globe. It's also finite, with only 21 million Bitcoins ever to be mined. Now let's introduce a key event in the Bitcoin universe, the halving. Every 210,000 blocks, or roughly every four years, the reward for mining new blocks is cut in half. This event is known as a Bitcoin halving. It's a built-in mechanism to control inflation, ensuring that Bitcoin retains its value over time. Now that we have a basic understanding of Bitcoin and halvings, let's delve into the historical events of Bitcoin halvings. Bitcoin halvings don't happen at random. They are programmed to occur every 210,000 blocks. This ingenious design is what keeps Bitcoin's supply in check and its value on an upward trend. Let's dive into the annals of Bitcoin's history to understand this better. The first Bitcoin block known as the Genesis block was mined in 2009, but the first halving didn't occur until November of 2012, when the reward for mining a block was reduced from 50 to 25 Bitcoins. This was an important milestone in Bitcoin's journey, as it marked the first reduction in the influx of new coins into the market. The second halving happened in July 2016. The reward was cut down from 25 to 12.5 Bitcoins. This event was watched with bated breath by the crypto community. It confirmed the deflationary nature of Bitcoin and set the stage for its meteoric rise in value in the years that followed. Fast forward to May 2020, the third halving took place reducing the mining reward to 6.25 bitcoins. This event was particularly noteworthy because it happened amidst the global economic uncertainty caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Yet bitcoin's price remained resilient and even surged to new heights in the months that followed. Each of these halvings brought about a significant change in bitcoin's value. In the periods leading up to and following the halvings, Bitcoin's price experienced substantial volatility. After the initial shock subsided, the price entered a bull phase, reaching new all-time highs. This pattern has been consistent across all halvings, reinforcing the theory that halvings create a supply shock in the Bitcoin market, which in turn drives up the price. Of course, other factors such as market sentiment, global economic conditions, and technological advancements also play a part, but the halvings have undeniably been major catalysts in Bitcoin's price movements. These historical events tell us that halvings have a significant impact on Bitcoin's value. Now it's time to explore why. A Bitcoin halving event is like an economic earthquake. It's a seismic shift that ripples through the crypto market, influencing not just Bitcoin's value, but the entire landscape of digital currencies. But why does this happen? What's the theory behind it? Let's unpack this. At the heart of Bitcoin's design is a simple economic principle, supply and demand. When Bitcoin was first created, the reward for mining a block was 50 Bitcoins. Every four years in an event known as a halving, this reward is cut in half. This means that the rate at which new Bitcoins are created slows down, effectively reducing the supply. Historically, these halving events have had a significant impact on Bitcoin's value. In the months leading up to the first halving in 2012, the price of Bitcoin increased by over a thousand percent. After the halving, it continued to climb, reaching a peak nearly a year later. The second halving in 2016 followed a similar pattern, with an increase in value both before and after the event. The idea is that as the supply of Bitcoin decreases, and if demand remains constant or grows, the price will naturally rise. This is based on the economic theory of supply and demand, a principle that seems to hold true in the crypto world. However, it's also important to remember that Bitcoin doesn't exist in a vacuum. Other factors such as market sentiment, government regulations and technological advancements can also influence its value. And while past performance is a useful guide, it's not a definitive predictor of the future. This brings us to the most recent halving in May of 2020. The pattern of a price increase has continued, but the journey hasn't been a straight line. Bitcoin's value experienced significant volatility, with dramatic ups and downs. While the effects on Bitcoin's value are clear, the effects on investors are more complex. Let's dive into this further. 
The reality is, Bitcoin halvings can be both an opportunity and a risk for investors, and understanding these dynamics is key to navigating the crypto market. Investors are the lifeblood of Bitcoin, and halvings can significantly influence their behavior. As we delve further into the world of Bitcoin halvings, it becomes increasingly clear how these events can shape the investment landscape. Halvings are like the ticking clock of Bitcoin, a reminder of its finite nature. This scarcity factor can drive investor behavior, creating a sense of urgency around the asset. As the supply of new Bitcoins reduces, demand can intensify, leading to potential price increases. This anticipation can turn the market bullish, with investors rushing to buy before the event. Now let's consider the short-term investors, those who play the game of quick returns. These investors often look at halvings as opportunities to capitalize on the potential price surge. They buy before the halving and sell when the price spikes, turning a profit in a relatively short time. However, this strategy is not without risks, as the market can be highly volatile around halving events. On the flip side, we have the long-term investors, the hodlers of Bitcoin. These individuals often view halvings from a different perspective. They see these events as milestones in Bitcoin's journey, reinforcing its deflationary nature and potential for long-term value. To them, halvings signify a reduction in Bitcoin inflation rate, making their holdings potentially more valuable over time. They're not necessarily swayed by short-term price fluctuations, instead focusing on the long-term potential of their investment. But it's important to remember that while halvings can influence investor behavior, they're not the only factor at play. Market sentiment, global economic conditions, regulatory changes, and technological advancements can all impact Bitcoin's value and, by extension, investor behavior. So, what does this all mean for investors? Simply put, understanding Bitcoin halvings can provide a strategic edge. It allows investors to anticipate market trends, make informed decisions, and potentially capitalize on these recurring events. As we've seen, Bitcoin halvings can greatly affect both Bitcoin's value and investor behavior. Let's wrap up with some strategic considerations. As an investor, understanding Bitcoin halvings is crucial for strategic planning. We've delved into the intriguing world of Bitcoin, tracing its halvings and the subsequent impact on its value. We've seen that these events have historically led to significant price surges and have stirred the market sentiment, influencing investor behavior. Looking towards future halvings, it's wise to keep a keen eye on the potential price trends. Consider the precedents set by previous halvings, but also be mindful of the ever-evolving crypto landscape. Diversifying your portfolio, timing your investments strategically around these events, and maintaining a long-term perspective can be beneficial strategies. Remember, the crypto market with Bitcoin at its forefront is characterized by volatility. It's this very volatility that presents both risks and opportunities. Bitcoin halvings are a fundamental part of the cryptocurrency's ecosystem and understanding them is key to navigating the market successfully.